my mama always said this, and so you know, when it comes to book reviews, uh, if you don't see it reviewed, and I read it, it's uh, because I didn't like it. So uh, of course, in the beginning, it's going to take me a while to get through some of these books. And and my theme about these books is I'm not going to do so much mainstream books. When new ones come out, I'll rev review them. Um, but the real theme is to get you to discover books that maybe you read years ago or never read at all. And I'm going to start with this one. Okay, now this is a really old book, 1961. And if you can find it out there, uh, I did a little searching a few months back, and, and they're very inexpensive. Uh, they were like uh, three, four bucks a piece. Um, this book is interesting because there's a couple of interesting concepts that came out of it. Um, here's the table of contents, uh, betting favorites and why you shouldn't. But what, what's in this that's very interesting, in fact, I think the next slide might actually be better. Um, other authors have talked about this, but uh, these are the guys that came up with the idea of the highest speed rating within 30 days and so forth, and, and uh, they did a lot of work on this. This is a little tiny book, and you can see the kind of the condition it's in, but it's very worthwhile. There's also a section in the book, those of you who are interested in uh, tote board watching and consensus and things like that, uh, there's a system in there that uh, it starts with like, um, you know, if a horse opens at uh, higher than his normal odds, and, and maybe there's one more slide, yeah, there you go, the closing odds on the favorites go down to about one half and so forth. Anyway, there's some good ideas there, and, and you may want to, you know, you, you, people are always asking, where can I find another handicapping book, something I haven't read? This is worth reading. Okay, so Science in Betting, uh, it's from 1961. And um, there is actually a, uh, an ISBN number. I should have put it on this screen. This is another one. Scientific Handicapping, Tested Ways to Win at the Racetrack, 1963. These guys, these two guys, and I want you to notice something interesting. Okay, this is, you know, when we see people like James Quinn, okay, who, you know, is a doctorate, has a doctorate, Ph.D., but, you know, look at what they have their doctorate in. Okay, one's a lawyer and the other's an English professor. Nevertheless, like a lot of us, horse racing was their avocation. And um, they wrote very seriously about it. Um, a couple of things that came out of this book. Uh, if you go to patterns, those of you, I know there's some of you out there that just love systems that start that gets you thinking about a, you know, a handful of angles, and they've got some good ones. Uh, here's, and you'll notice whoever owned this book, uh, you know, made notes in the margins, and and he, he'll remain nameless. His initials are Dave Schwartz, but this was a long time ago. I mean, I didn't buy this book new, of course, but this is an example, and and just like you would like them to do, they take all their systems and they really set out the rules. I mean, they're very, very precise. And here's another one, best time for today's distance, etc. There's quite a few systems. Another thing that's in this book is, um, oh, here's a layoff angle. Another thing in this book is uh, they are the developers of simulated pace. And simulated pace, uh, I, I want to do a class on it one day. Um, the simple version is it, it's pace without the pace numbers. It, it, the simple version is imagine if the winner of the race ran a 100 and therefore the race must have been a 100. If the winner of the race ran a 102, then the race must have been a 102. And so if a horse was four lengths back of a 102 final time, then we're going to call that a 98. There's all kinds of reasons why this method doesn't work, but it works. 
is it as good as velocity or or par based numbers no it's not but it is for for people who are using a calculator or paper and pencil and you want to add pace ratings to the mix this will do it for you and they he, we used it in our software for for probably 8 years before uh, our software we moved to a handicappers data warehouse okay so that's my second favorite book scientific ha handicapping and i'm going to give you one more and this book this book is all about uh, it's not a, a it's not a handicapping book but i think it will have interest to some of you it's called quick analysis for busy decision makers and i'm surprised that over the years, I used to be able to find this book everywhere. It's a little harder to locate now. It's not terribly expensive when you find it, but um, it is tough to find. And what this book is about is it's 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 intellectual problems. Um, uh, character. There's characters in the book, and they have problems that they need to solve and they introduce the idea of having a an urn with a hundred balls and and maybe they're black balls and white balls or green balls and white balls or and and maybe there's multiple it introduces the different permutations and and to give you an example of how you might use this in your handicapping imagine that you're a guy who says well I think the four horse is going to go to the front and so up here you might say the four horse goes to the front okay what are the you you determine the chances of it and they have some great methodologies for getting you to come to a number you know uh, to take the what you see in the racing form and think through uh, the percentage that you think it might be and so this is what they call the decision dilemma many people would call it a decision tree in this particular instance the man has a heart condition and he has angina but it is not life-threatening and I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this so he has to make a decision should he have a surgery that would correct the angina or not so that's what I mean by real-world problems um, I actually thought there was a slide in between. Maybe I got them reversed. Uh, there's also an exercise section. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it a little better. Uh, and of course, it's a bit dated, but they take questions, what you would think of as word questions, and they show you how to improve your estimation abilities so that you can take a question like uh, what are the chances of the six horse going to the front successfully in this race and they show you how to turn that into a percentage and, and improve at that skill.